Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. What's going on guys? Today we are looking at the brand new Ultimate Kickoff Champion, Larry Fitzgerald. Before we get started, our shout out of the day goes to my man Zav for commenting the emoji on last video. And of course, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, stick around for the emoji of the day. And as always, thank you for watching today's gameplay. So here is Larry Fitzgerald, 88 speed, 87 acceleration, 6'3", 77 strength. There are a couple stats that I was curious about. I mean, we all know his route running super nice with that 89 short, 87 mid, 90 deep, 90 catching traffic, 90 catching, 90 jumping, good build, good size. But I want to see what his run block was. I feel like it could be pretty decent. Where's run block? Okay, his run block is not good. I was really hoping that he may have had at least like 60, maybe high 60 to low 70s in run block, but it's at 57, much lower than I thought it was going to be, but a good stiff arm. Solid COD, a good juke, a high break tackle. This card's going to be an all-around monster, not only in the red zone, short yardage, the deep threat. Really, you could use Larry Fitzgerald wherever and whenever you want in the field. And for the abilities, Larry is a physical archetype, our first like higher overall physical archetype in the game so far this year. And Larry's actually the first wide receiver in the game to get red zone threat. We've had some tight ends like Keith Jackson, Tony G, Jeremy Shockey get the ability. But no, Larry Fitzgerald is our first wide receiver. And he does get it discounted as well as outside apprentice outside apprentice one ap could be super nice if you are someone that does like putting those posts on the field those c routes on the field which are really good against man coverage and honestly another bad setup on larry is probably like short in and outside apprentice for three ap it's a pretty solid combo right there um which i mean it isn't that great because if you if he was a different archetype you you could get the same discount but if you want to run Larry, that's not a bad setup. I still think the best setup in the game is Crabtree with the 1 AP slot, or slot apprentice and the 1 AP short in. That combo is just too deadly. But today, we're definitely going to be trying red zone threat. I've been struggling in the red zone, so hopefully this could uh, raise those percentages a little bit. And it should. You know, crazy size, crazy catching, crazy catching traffic. And now red zone threat is going to be pretty nice. And for Team Chems, he does not get the legend chem. I'm not sure why it's not here. Maybe they'll be fixing that, but only Cardinals front art he does get his madden 10 alternate and uh yeah let's hop into the gameplay and let's see what larry fitzgerald can do boys all right here we go we got game number one there is my opponent's top three looking pretty solid there's our top three gilmore inside shade michael crabtree larry fitzgerald looking real spooky oh my why does this always happen in, in gameplays why does this always happen in gameplays? Why do I always got to have the nastiest kick returns of all time whenever I'm recording these videos? He does have Woolen on him, which is a pretty big body. It, it looks to be zone coverage. We're going to take our, our read right here. Get, get outside there, Crabtree. And okay, a nice little gain of six. We're taking that all day. And what we want here is Larry Fitz getting up the, getting up the scene there. Larry Fitz is getting... Oh my, I did not see that guy right there. Larry Fitz is looking large though. Hey, six foot three, 218. His builds always look good, and it's weird seeing like a meta Larry Fitzgerald in this game right now. I'm so used to getting Larry cards that are usually already pretty much outdated speed-wise. It's kind of been that way since I've started playing Madden full-time in Madden 20. But yeah, it's good to see Larry out there running those beautiful routes. And now we got a, we got a little bit of an opportunity here, boys. Let's see what happens. Larry, get up! Oh, okay. There we okay. Larry Fitzgerald off to a fantastic start and he jumped like 86 times but you saw that red zone threat light up if it hits his hands in single coverage it basically should be his all right here we go let's play some defense and earlier today i actually well if you follow me on twitter you should be following me on twitter if you're not following me on twitter i don't know what you're doing tomorrow by the way we are rating teams so make sure you are definitely following me on twitter if you want a chance to be a part of that episode but but i did pull larry fitzgerald today i pulled larry fitzgerald out of a one of the one of the training rerolls I opened up like six of them. I just wasn't pulling anything. And I was just clicking through. I was clicking through. And then all of a sudden, there he was. Larry Fitzgerald staring right back at me. Here and good ball. Okay, good drive for my opponent. That's probably the best I've seen someone consistently pick up Overstorm Brave. So I respect it. Or nickel over. That's probably the best I've seen someone pick it up. And, and he really and he really wasn't even... And he was kind of like dropping back too. Like his presence wasn't even that crazy. Okay. 
Okay, yo, what's going on with my special teams today? I don't know. We almost cribbed that one too. I haven't really been getting too creative, and he's just in man coverage. Just don't take a long sack. That was like match or something. Damn, damn it, bro. We're gonna call hike here, and we're gonna throw it right behind the ear lobe, right behind his ear lobe for a first down. Beautiful. Can we get? Oh, Larry's open. Larry's open. Just don't, don't get KO'd, Larry. Okay. That's that's a main. That's another thing you got to do this year. You got to swerve away from people that are trying to get those KOs, and we're almost into the red zone here, which is a. <laughs> You know what happens in the red zone? All the all this stuff. I don't think I don't think it was lit up though because it would have lit up there. But let's see. Larry, oh, another touchdown. Goes over the middle and oh my, oh god. Why do people always do that to me on like? Why does it gotta be fourth down? Like why not just do it on first down? Like why even give me? That? I mean that's my fault. Like first of all, I didn't have a uh, ball in air defense on. And I clicked on trying to get a pick like an absolute idiot. There's really no vision here besides dunk on him. Like that. Beautiful. Uh, call hike. Call hike. Call hike. We got to get the ball out. What the? Larry out there somewhere. Larry out there somewhere. Larry's out there somewhere. Oh my goodness. We're in the red zone too. He, at least he should. If he doesn't, I don't know what the heck he's doing. Oh my God. Larry, stay in bounds. I sold. I should have possession caught it. I sold. I should have possession caught it. I don't know what I'm doing. What does he want? The flat taken. Oh, and that is wide open. And here we go. Larry's should get open here. He's on Yannick. Oh, Yannick. I'm throwing the ball right at Yannick. Over the top of Yannick's head. I I'm not respecting Yannick and Glockway. I'm not respecting him. Crabtree, punch it. I like, I like, I know you got caught, but I got to throw that no matter what. So let's try it again. Man coverage. Larry, go make a play. Okay, yeah. So we're three for three so far. Two points seem kind of free on those right now. He wants that. He wants that. He wants that. Uh, oh, I I read that complete. Oh my goodness, I deep have that side too. And Larry should be open here. Good pass lead. Good catch right there from Larry. A little after the catch, Larry just wants it more, and there's a nice little gain. All right, come on, step up, step up. He should get open here. Larry is open. Skip that. Okay, I'm am I conservative? Larry for sure with another with, with another beautiful gain. He might. I mean, it looks like he might have a guy over the top. We'll see what happens here. Oh, he's, he's got his user over there. It doesn't matter. Larry, it's his. Yo, that might be it, boys. Hey, boys, that really could be the move there. If it's a corner out, we could be screwed. We got crazy pressure. My ball. Dude, how is... Ma I'm surprised he hasn't... Like, like he's missed some throws, but I'm very surprised that... Like, Mariota has delivered so many strikes under duress. Like, it's been actually impressive. I want Mariota to, uh, to run. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I just pulled that man out of the hole, too, and he sits down. Hey, I don't know. After um, using Larry in this game, I, I wasn't sure if Larry could be that number one guy, but yo, Larry might be the number one guy in the game right now, and that's a crazy pass to throw. But Larry might be number one in the game right now. Larry just might be, boys. Larry might be number one. Uh, just the way his build works, his animations, the red zone threat, I love. Um, dude, he, he's crazy. Even after the catch, he was breaking tackles like a straight madman. Big fan, of, big fan of this card, man. Big fan of this card. And that is wide open. Okay, don't sit down. No. All right, well, we're not going to get the ball back. GG, boys. Hey, thank you for watching today's video. Of course, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.